Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am really excited because we are going to play for the first time with a new Natasha Denona Biba palette. All neutral eyeshadows. Look at that. It's the same packaging as the Tropic and Safari palettes. Uh, it's plastic. You have a little holes at the back. You can push and depart the, um, the eyeshadow palette, you can rearrange it or just put some of these in a Z palette if you're traveling and you don't want all of them. But look at that, here are the 15 shades of this palette and they, it is described as a must-have multi-use 15 pan palette with the most essential colors. It is free of parabens, and it is also cruelty free, it's like according to Sephora's website. Biba features 15 brand new shades of Natasha Denona signature formula. It includes neutral, warm and cool tones from light to dark in different textures. This eyeshadow palette is very user friendly and covers a shade range that varies from mauves, burgundies and browns to warm grays and black. So you have 15 times 0.08 ounce or 2.5 grams. The yeah, eyeshadow is rustic, uh, is a metallic copper, prairie, a matte camel, cocoa, a matte dark burgundy, and I believe it was in a tropic palette. I don't know because I never bought it, but shine, a metallic champagne. So this is the first roll. Tasha, a matte red, Monroe, metallic pink champagne, rayon, matte medium burgundy, which is that cream to powder formula, I believe. It looks much lighter than it is in the pan, but that's normal. So you can build up intensity. Buff, a matte antique pink. Slightly warmer, more orangey than rayon. Tone a matte clay. Okay, so this is the second row. Seed, matte dark chocolate. Tor, a matte dark gray brown. Uh, sculpture, a matte light gray. Spot, matte dark black. Ooh. That is very black. And Tusk, which is a matte light beige. And here are the 15 shades of the Natasha Denona Biba palette. It swatches really well. The matte fill battery shimmers are shiny. I'm really excited. This palette retails for 162 Canadian dollars. So it is up there, yes. Uh, so we're gonna see if it's worth it. If you have things similar at home, similar colors, you know, uh, does the formula make it exceptional? We're gonna see that. So do I wanna set my lid or not? That's the question. If I'm using the cream to powder formula, probably not. You know what, I'm gonna start with tone, which is one of them. And I wish it was at home with my proper lighting. I just have my ring light right now. I'm back to 17. So I'm placing tone in the outer corner and I'm dragging it into my crease. It's a very pretty terracotta shade. So yeah, if you're waiting for that palette to be available in store, I would just ask at the teal because I asked first a uh, sales associate uh, who told me, well, no, it's not here, it will be a while before it's here, but when it will be here, it will be up front, on the, in the front gondolas, la la la. And then I was surprised because I saw on the app that it was actually available at that store. So actually at the teal I went, I asked, and it was at the teal in the little box. So I don't know if they have a limited quantity and it's just for people you know, who asked for it, okay, we will give it, but, yeah, well, I was, I was happy at the end, but don't hesitate to ask for it at the till. Okay, 
that's very pretty and it will be a very pretty everyday shade. I think I'm gonna try Rayon or Rayon in French. It's like a ray. Same brush. And I'm gonna place it in the outer corner. Beautiful. Let's see. I'm just gonna finish in the crease with what, what is left on my brush. Okay, maybe a dab here. Well, so far it's super easy to blend. In the inner corner, I'm gonna use something soft. I think I'm gonna use a Tusk and see how it goes. A bit powdery, there's a bit of uh, kick up in the pan. Not too much, but a little bit. So tap your brush. Oh, it's a soft color. It's actually probably the my skin tone color. I want to use Shine. I'm going to go with my finger in the center. That's very pretty. And I'm sure that could be a very pretty highlighter. I might try because I don't have much on my cheeks. Under my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back to tone and I apply it with a MAC 230. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shade Rayon, same shade I used for my upper lid. I'm gonna go with Monroe in the inner corner and I'm using the Shimmers Dry, okay? Very pretty as a inner corner. I light. I'm gonna go under my brow bone with it. I'm gonna intensify a little bit with the shade Spot, that black, and see how it's performing. I'm gonna start first like almost as a liner and now I'm going to smoke it. Well, I might save it for a smoky eye later, but as a liner, it's very pretty. I'm just gonna go along my lash line and the lower lash line and smoke it a bit. I'm gonna smoke it right here too. Pack my Graph Labs uh, Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in the shade Black Coffee. Okay, eyes are done and I think it's very pretty, soft, but you know, something a little bit sexy with that liner. It was really easy to achieve and I really like it. Very easy, every day. I use my uh, Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and a little bit of L'Oreal Color Rich Shine Glossy Phone 900 on my lips and I think it complements that I look very well. I just want to try quickly that um, shade Shine has a highlighter, hopefully it's not a mistake. Let's see, it works. That's pretty. So here is the first look. The shade Spot, that black one worked great as a eyeliner. And uh, so far the eyeshadows are blending really, really easily. No issue at all. Okay, round two. For this look, I think I'm gonna do something slightly more smoky, sultry. I'm going to start with the shade Freckle. That's a pretty shade. It's blending very easily. That's a very pretty color. I could just wear that all over my lid. I'm gonna put that all over the lid actually. Okay, I'm gonna take the same color and put it in my on my lower lash line. And go back on my upper lid and pack it on at the root of my lashes and the outer corner. Blending the edges. Now I'm taking the shade Coco. Tap the brush because it's a bit powdery. 
place it in the outer corner. That is very pigmented. Finish with whatever is left on my brush in the crease. I think I'm really liking the matte, so I'm gonna stick to the matte, I think, for that look. And I'm gonna go to the shade Prairie. Prairie. And that is uh, Sigma E25. Very pretty mustard color. I'm gonna go back to Freckle. Just to put it in our transition. Warm it up a tiny bit. And lately I've seen a lot of looks on in magazines or um, runways and they go really high near the brows. Actually, I'm gonna do that for that look. Lower lash line, I'm going to Coco with the Morphe M160 tiny brush. I'm gonna go in the outer corner as well, just along the lash line. Tiny bit, not too much. Intensify a tiny bit the outer corner with the shade Coco again. These eyeshadows are so easy to blend, very easy to work with. With my finger, I'm gonna go to the shade Monroe. I'm just gonna use that shimmer for the inner corner of my eyes. Very soft near the brow bone. I'm picking up the shade Tusk to softly blend the edges right here. And finish right here with it. It's almost a clean brush. I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath from a gel Ultra Glide eye pencil in the shade Black Coffee once again. I'm going to tight line with it quickly. All right, and that is the final look. It was really fast, actually, babe. How yeah. long did it take? Uh, you think to do I that? I would say not more than. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. So, and I was showing you too. So, I would say you can do that in 8 minutes. Well, maybe the mascara took a bit longer, and my lipstick, just because I was trying to figure out which color would look good. And I ended up like mixing these two that is uh, L'Oreal Color Rich Shine uh, number 900, same as last time actually, but I put a little bit of a dose of colors glazed lipstick on top. I really like it. It was really easy. The eyeshadows are very easy to work with, very blendable. They're pigmented. I'm gonna zoom you in. Yeah, look at that. Very easy. What do you think of that look, babe? Do you like that? Yeah, it's very elegant and simple. Very elegant and simple. See? Perfect um, definition of Natasha Denona Biba palette, I think. Let's jump onto the third look. All right, look number three. For this one, I really want to dig in uh, into those cool tones right here in that row. I think I'm gonna start with the shade Tor, that cream to powder formula. I'm not setting the lid once again. And I'm placing it in the outer part, the outer corner, and I'm going to drag it into my crease. And I'm using a Rodial brush number 05. That's the eye sculpt brush. So do a little circular motion. And once again, this cream to powder formula shows a bit more sheer than it looks in the pan, but I really like it. I think it's very nice to work as a transition shade or it's really easy to blend and to work with. And if you have like kind of uneven eyelids like me, well, just take your time and do your best to make it look even. Pick up the shade Seed, and I really like that she actually pairs like, because you know Natasha Denona's palettes, very often like she does looks like that. 
to help you. You can go by row or by square. And I really like to mix browns and grays. I think it's really pretty when you want to do a smoke, a, a nice soft smoky eye or well, a smoky eye. I think it's really pretty. So we're just gonna dig into shade seed. And once again, place it in the outer corner. See how pretty it is together? And this is a MAC 217. Once again, in the outer corner and drag it into the crease. Very nice, pigmented, very easy to blend. It's really foggy today. Really weird weather in Edmonton. It was so nice all week. Now we're back to zero and foggy. Just gonna do a tiny bit on that side. I'm gonna use a Morphe R39, 39, and I'm going to use the shade Sculptor and just work work it in the transition, keeping the color more towards like a, a taupey, pretty shade. I'm actually gonna use it in the inner corner. When you build up that shade, it almost becomes kind of like like a blue gray. So I'm gonna add a bit of seed, a brown one, just a, a very light tap, just to keep it more taupe. Once again, it's really really pretty mixed together. I'm gonna do a sort of yellow eye, I guess. Lower lash line, and I'm gonna start with Seed. That is a Morphe M408. It's kind of a rough brush, actually. It's nice to be a bit more precise, but it's rough. So I'm just going up and create line here. Okay, I'm gonna blend with my 217. I'm gonna use a bit of the shade Tor. I'm gonna put a bit more of Thor here, of Tor, sorry, here. I wanna say Thor. <laughs> and actually, to make it more blended, I wanna use Tusk which is very close to my skin tone. And I'm just gonna go around and blend with it. So the edges are not harsh. I wanna use the shade Spot, which is a cream to powder. This time I'm gonna use it to really create a smoky eye. I'm using it in the outer corner. It's very soft, very easy to blend. Intensify a tiny bit the crease with it. Take my other brush and blend. So here you have something a bit more soft and here we're intensifying or more like a, a night look. Okay, I'm gonna use the black again with a Morphe M160 and I'm gonna go under my lash line with it. And along my upper lashes. Just to intensify a little bit, the lash line. I think I'm gonna use Monroe and place it in the center of my lid. So 
so until now I was kind of following that line here that row here but you know you can do whatever you want of course but it's a nice guideline I like that I want to intensify a tiny bit the inner corner of a bit of brown the shade seed just to really keep that halo and that dimension it's taking a bit more time today my husband is not next to me reading <laughs> so i don't feel pressure to finish fast but i think yeah it was a good thing so you can see how you create you can create something very very pretty fast if you're in a rush okay and tiny bit of tour again yep. maybe i'm gonna highlight my brow bone too with the same uh, shade monroe and same thing for the inner corner just gonna go with my pinky Love that shade as an inner corner highlight. That probably would be a pretty highlighter as well, actually. Okay, I just want to intensify a tiny bit the outer corner with that black, just a tiny bit right here. So soft to work with. And once again, a bit more brown in the inner corner. Since I intensify a bit more the outer corner. Oh. A bit more than I wanted here. <laughs> That's okay. Yep, and finish here. Alright, I'm gonna put some black liner in a waterline, tight line, and mascara. And I'll come back with the finished look. And that is the finished look. I really, really like it. It's the modern smoky eye. I use the Milk Makeup Eyeliner in the shade, what, well, in the black. And I'm so happy because you can actually find it in Sephora Canada now. And I spotted it in store as well. So give it a try go in store and do a little swatch you should not be disappointed and for mascara i use the pat mcgrath fetish eyes mascara and for my lips i used the pat mcgrath lip liner permagel ultra lip pencil in the shade done undone and i paired it with the love potion lust gloss and i really like it with that cool tone smoky eye i love how the shades blend it together so well you can mix the colors together because i mix that shade tour which is a gray with that um brown shade which is what's its name again seed and it creates that beautiful taupe shade and yeah it's it's very nice it doesn't look patchy at all it looks like it's melting onto my skin once again really impressed and uh, i have to say that during the days i did not film because i was working and i didn't have time i played with that palette and i've been using that palette almost every day since i got it so um, i love that look i think it's so pretty for a night out something glamorous uh you can you know do your hair a bit more crazy, like this, you know, so it doesn't look as clean. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm super impressed. And that's so funny because now I have to go home and see uh, our contractor. And well, it's, what time is it? It's 10 a.m. And I don't really want to take that makeup off. And then I am going to the orthodontist for my final appointment for Invisalign. I'm done and I, yeah, I love my smile. I'm super happy and uh, yeah, but um, I'm looking, I'm looking really glad, but that's okay. Uh, so yeah, that is the third look. Let's jump onto the look number four. All right, look 
number four. And for this, I want to focus on this row and play it with more terracotta shades. I went to the Orto Tantist with my previous look and that was uh, so funny. They were taking photos because I'm done with my Invisalign treatment. I was really glam <laughs> for these photos. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shade Tone. Sephora Pro, Featherweight Crease Brush, number 38. I'm gonna place it in the outer corner of the crease, but I'm not very precise. And Tone is a cream to powder formula, so you can build in nicely the pigmentation. First, it shows a bit more sheer than it looks on the pan. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the shade Buff, which is the powder formula. And I'm basically going on top of what I just put. Very pretty color. It's an orange terracotta shade. It's very pigmented. It's even more pigmented than it looks on camera. I'm gonna go with tone cream to powder formula on my lower lash line. So I still have a little bit of liner on my lower lash line. That's my, my milk makeup liner. It's hard to take off, guys. It's a long-lasting one. Sigma E25, and I'm gonna go to the shade Rayon. And I'm just gonna place it in the outer corner. And actually, in a corner as well, I might want to do another halo eye. It's a pretty soft clay color, I would say. It has a bit of red in it. Easy to work with. I'm going to place it a bit in my um, crease. With a Sonia Kashuk small eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna go to the shade Pasha. And I'm gonna once again intensify the outer corner just to give an extra dimension to the eye look. So pretty that shade. Finish with what is left on the brush. In the crease. Wow, look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna add a tiny bit on my lower lash line. A little bit of kick up on the pan. Nothing dramatic. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of that Pasha shade right here. Like that matte look, hmm. But I wanted to use maybe rustic or Monroe. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I'm gonna use a tiny bit of Tusk once again just to blend the edges. And on top, right here. You know what? I'm gonna use Tusk. We're gonna keep it in. Matte, I think. I'm gonna re-intensify the crease with first buff. It's really to emphasize my lit shade. Like so. And actually put some more right here. A nice transition. Okay. Tiny bit more of Pasha in the outer corner just because we might have lost a bit of that intensity. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go with my finger just to put a tiny bit of tusk in the center. And I find sometimes with even matte shades, this helps to pop a bit more. Treat it like a, a shimmer. And then use a clean finger 
and blend the edges. See? All right. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of the shade Monroe, that shimmer, in the inner corner. Like that. All right. So I'm going to put a bit of liner and mascara, and I'll be back for the final look. I might blend a bit more here. Wait. All right, and before saying it's the final look, <laughs> I wanna try a little trick just to see if it works. I used a little bit of my lip balm and for now I'm using the Eucerine Aquaphor Healing Ointment. And this, guys, works great as a lip balm, hand cream, foot cream, wherever you feel dry. This is awesome and you get so much. I line my lips with my Pat McGrath lip liner in the shade Done Undone. And now I want to pick up a bit of the shade Buff and see what it does on the lips. I'm just going to go with my finger. So we get a little monochromatic look. Change finger. And do the top. It's pretty. Uh, just in the center, I'm going to use my Dose, Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Glazed. And that is it for this look number four. And well, I think it's not the last one because I did not use uh, Rustic. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna start to edit the, edit the video and I'm gonna see how long it takes. Like if it's too long, I will do a separate video using this in a, incorporating it in a get ready with me video or something like that. But so far, I have to say, uh, all matte look is so pretty. Well, with a little pop in the inner corner, but sometimes you're very tempted to use a shimmer in the center, you know, to be glam, but sometimes just something very soft and matte looks really nice too. So I'm going to zoom you in to show you the final eye look. Put a bit of my Pat McGrath mascara. I tight line under my upper lashes. It makes the green of my eyes pop. I really like this look for every day, even um, a date night, to be honest. That's the kind of look my husband likes. He doesn't like when I have too much going on. Um, so red tone, chocolatey, smoky eye look with a little bit of a halo going on. I really like, um, I really like to apply Tusk with my finger. It was, uh, it helped like the shade to pop really in the center. And just in case I'm not filming another look, because I really want to have this video online as quick as possible for you guys, it's already a bit late, I want to give you my thoughts on it. I think this is probably the most user-friendly Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. I don't count like the mini nudes or things like that. Second would be the gold palette. This, I would use it like every day. It's a lot of money, it's very expensive. We know Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palettes are very expensive. Um, it would be nice if she could actually put maybe smaller little pans in her palettes, uh, just because two years of shelf life, I think, I won't be done for sure. But I have lots of palettes that are older than two years and it's fine. As long as, as, long as it's not looking moldy and and playing with it. Like she could have added another shimmer maybe, but all of these I would use on an everyday base. Like uh, I'm so glad like she has some warm tones and then these are so pretty. If you have green eyes or blue eyes, like it, it will make the color of your eyes pop so much. Uh, these colors, these to cool tones are beautiful 
I love to pair that brown with those gray tones. That black you can use so, so many ways. You can do a little liner with it, you can bl blend it and make it a real cool smoky eye look. You can just intensify a halo look or just give more dimension to your eye look with it. Super blendable, super soft, uh, unbelievable. Like I, I love that formula. Don't hesitate to build in the color too. Uh, it's really nice to work in the crease with it. Uh, all these cream to powder formulas. Yeah, the shade Rustic I haven't used in this video. I could do a March favorites video, but I know I just discovered that one, but I love that eyeshadow palette. I, I, I will take it on trips with me. It's big, yes, but I have everything I need in this palette. The formula is exceptional. That's a signature formula from Natasha Denona. I love that you get so many different textures in our palettes, uh, different finishes, like the shimmers are gorgeous, mattes are so easy to blend and very pigmented. Love that palette. Uh, it's a lot of money, so if you have lots of neutral eyeshadow palettes uh, and you're a bit short on your budget, you don't need that palette, but if you're a collector and, or if you're looking for um, a multitask everyday eyeshadow palette, daytime, nighttime, glam, soft, this is beautiful. I will try to find some dupes for you. Let me know if you got this palette or if you were thinking of getting it. Uh, I think the Sephora sales are coming soon, so that would be a great purchase. It would be also a beautiful gift, I think, to give for um, Mother's Day or a birthday gift. You know, uh, it's very precious. Um, the packaging, very nice, easy to clean too. Do I have something negative to say about that palette? Not really, except maybe, uh, for me it's totally fine, Tusk is my skin tone, but for someone who is more fair, probably a lighter uh, shade to blend or um, hi highlight the brow bone if you want something matte would have been nice. For my skin tone, I truly, truly love it. So far the gold is my favorite, but this one is probably like equal, like because this one I can use every single day. Like, it's nothing too overwhelming, too crazy glam, super soft. I will take that one with me on my next trip, for sure. I hope this helped and gave you some inspiration, whether you buy this palette or you use another neutral eyeshadow palette you have in your collection. If you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. Don't hesitate to leave comments down below with requests. Well, what do you want to see next? Or do you want me to maybe play a bit more with that eyeshadow palette? Do you have any questions? You know, let me know down below. I always enjoy your um, comments and I read all of them. So please don't hesitate. And using that buff shade on my lips, on top of the little lip balm. Perfect. So, so pretty. Try it at home and let me know how it goes for you. Thank you so much. Take care and I will see you in the next one.